down. <laughs> Come on, you can do the intro with me. What is up guys? It's been here sitting in my living room floor for a couple of days now, um, and I'm finally gonna open it. I had kind of a long work day, a lot of computer work, um, but yes, I'm very ready to open it and put it together. So let's see how this goes. Cue the time lapse. market Ashland bookshelf. Um, I will link it in the description. It's not like an ad for it. I literally just, it's the only thing on the internet that I've seen that I like. Um, I'm also playing a Zoe Sug vlog in the back. A little boo candle. We've got high maintenance, don't care. Literally says don't assemble on the carpet. Doing it anyway.
before I sign off, I wanted to give you guys a very brief overview of some of the changes that I made to this shelf. I unhauled some books. I think I put those in my September wrap-up if you're interested in looking at those. Um, and then I've added a few new ones, but I basically just wanted to take you through and show you the different ways that I've styled it. So let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so apologies in advance if you can hear the landscapers outside. They are currently here at the apartments. So over here we have a few new ones. I picked those up in St. Louis. Suburban Hell, The Vegetarian, those are, those are new ones. And then obviously as you can see, I have just organized by color. That's what I did with my old one. Didn't change that up at all because I really like the look of that. A change that I did make is the printer. So there's a perfect little cubby right here that it fits in. I can just kind of shove it back there. I have thought about maybe trying to hide it somehow. I'm not really sure exactly what I would do or how I would do that, but I don't use it very often So it's nice just to kind of recess it into the shelf and then I put it next to the white books that way I don't know I tried to kind of match it with the books and then moving a little bit over like I said I didn't really change the way that um, any of the books were like organized. It's very much just by color. So like the oranges kind of move into the greens and the blues. All the black covers are obviously down there. This is the stack that I DNF'd. I put at the end of my September wrap up. Um, I very quickly went through those. That is why they're not faced out just so I have them all in one space. So if I sell anything on Amazon, they are all there together. I've only had to like double stack books. You might be able to see behind the pumpkin. There's a little stack back there. I've only had to do that right there, but this bookshelf is certainly deep enough that I could do that. So I may eventually. And then for the top here, I just have a little succulent. I'm not gonna get too close. Well, this is the manuscript I'm currently working on. I just have some incense sticks that I keep right here. Um, I've been burning them a lot these last couple of days. Um, I really like these Vandermeer books, the covers I'm really obsessed with. I actually had this one sitting up like that earlier. I may keep it kind of like that. And then it kind of adds a little bit of height. Um, obviously a little picture of Guillermo, a little Polaroid I took. It's pretty dark, you can't even really see very well. But now when this isn't burning, these little incense sticks, um, I've been keeping this on top of this Santa Fe like interior style like coffee table book. And I've been putting that kind of like this. And then this rock is from the waterfall whenever we visited. So I just keep the rock like in the hand. I'll obviously have to clean this out and probably start burning a new stick. When it's actually burning, I keep this kind of on the edge so the stick can poke out. This is really cool. If you guys saw, um, I think it was my second to last reading vlog for Sirens and Muses. Boyfriend and I went down to the river. He was fishing while I was reading and we found this. It's just got little fossils like of shells and stuff in it. I don't know, we thought it was kind of cool. So this has been sort of a little decorating piece. And then this is Boyfriend's. This is a copy of very cool sort of gilded edged copy of some of Mark Twain's stories. Nice thick boy. He stays right here. And then we have, since we just came back from um, St. Louis, we visited the Mississippi River, the mighty Mississippi. Um, and so we brought back some sand. He's been opening this. We kind of have been styling it like that so that you can see the the steamboats and stuff. And then obviously above it, just the gallery wall and then my notes for my manuscript. I promise there are writing vlogs coming. I've just been really neglecting it to be completely honest. So that's what that is if you're wondering what the index cards are. I feel like it looks nicely below the gallery wall. My desk was here previously. Currently I've shoved it over here in the corner. It will probably eventually move just because it's so close to the couch. But I think it looks quite nice underneath that gallery wall. It's kind of a, the whole wall kind of has become a little bit of kind of a feature wall, so. So I don't know about you guys, but I am pretty obsessed with it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye guys. How am I gonna do work if you're in my spot? Are you gonna move so I can do my work? <laughs>